Assalamu alaikum everyone. One of the many things that I allow myself to do every single day is to find things in which that I am grateful for. So what I did for the whole of today is to film myself sharing with all of you five things, five small things that I am grateful for throughout my today basically and I filmed it in the subsequent five short clips here. Alhamdulillah, I am grateful for the very nice weather today, not too hot, not too cold, a very comforting, you know, therapeutic journey to up to work. Alhamdulillah for health, for being healthy today, for being able to get up today, for basically the energy to get through today. Alhamdulillah, and I'm thinking of my colleagues. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, today I'm grateful for lunch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, I am grateful for having a workplace that allows me to pray that uh, reminds me of prayer and the very good everybody is praying. Alhamdulillah, there will always be so many things to be grateful for. Which reminds me of a hadith from Sahih Muslim where Anas reported that the Prophet would always say before he would retire to bed. Alhamdulillah, alladhi ata'amana wa saqana wa kafana wa awana fa kam mimman la kafi lahu wa la mu'wi. All praise is due to Allah who has fed us, given us strength, sufficed us, and sheltered us. How many are those who do not have enough and have no shelter? So you see, we really have a lot, a lot to be grateful for. And this a lot is something which is enough for us. The very fact that we have Wi-Fi, we have a shelter on top of our heads, we have food to eat, we have clothes to wear, we have friends to rely on. We have all these things, yet we still feel that we don't have enough. We feel that we're not enough. We feel that we need to do this, we need to achieve that, we need to get this, we need to get that. It's going to be a never-ending cycle and we will never ever feel fulfilled. We will never feel contented and complete inside until we practice to cultivate gratitude in our everyday. So I highly encourage you to do this activity every single day. Just at least find a few things, two, three things that you are grateful for in your everyday and perhaps you might want to write it down somewhere or jot it down on your phone but it doesn't stop there. What you need to do after identifying the things that you are grateful for every single day, you take a moment to sit down, look on it, reflect upon it and try to feel that gratitude try to internalize and say alhamdulillah thank you allah for this thank you allah for that and upon looking through your list perhaps there are things in which you see it as something little but it's something that you need to be grateful for because sometimes it's the little things that take up the biggest spaces in your life especially when they're gone Trust me when I say gratitude is a game changer. It will help you feel a little more happier. It will help you feel more fulfilled. And it will also help you to appreciate the things that you have right now, right in front of you in your life. So what are you waiting for? What are you sitting around for? Start now. Start today. Perhaps the first step is for you to comment down below one thing, either a small thing or a big thing that you are grateful for today and try to internalize it and try to appreciate. It doesn't have to be the biggest things in your life. It can be the very, very small, minute details. So, you know, me... Through this activity, through this reminder on gratitude, may we constantly be people of gratitude. May we constantly practice to be thankful for, to be grateful for the things that Allah has blessed us in our life so that we can be contented, we can be fulfilled and so that, you know, when we are grateful, surely Allah will increase us in favor, inshallah.